Hello. <laughs> oh, you say <laughs> you want to want to start saying hi first. Hello, hello, Tirupol. Yes, welcome, 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 welcome <laughs> to another episode. Of, to another episode of the podcast. I appreciate having you here. Hope you have, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good time. Having a horrible day. <laughs> the day just started, bro. You can't have a horrible day. You might be having a horrible morning, but not a horrible day. Yep. I'm um, not happy to have you. Now let's get to it then. Okay. Today, the topic. Topic. Thank you. Yeah, because I lost the word. Hey, first time in your life you ever completed uh, 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 successfully. Not the first time. Oh, uh, today the topic um, that we'll be speaking about is. What I'm speaking about drawing on is anime. The most. The most. The most. What's the word We're not really speaking about it. We just. Drew we drew it. about it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So the topic for the drawings today was anime, and like I was gonna say the most. What's the word I'm looking for? One of the most creative accomplishments of the human race is anime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I genuinely feel. I don't know because I feel like anime is like super inspiring, not just the art. But also just like the stories in a lot of the anime, I feel like it's super, it's super dope. And I know a lot of people say like anime is like cartoons for grown people, but I mean cartoons and anime are two different things. I think we established that, or we can establish that. But anime is, anime is, anime is dope. Anime is dope. Yeah. So we draw ourselves as anime characters, not necessarily like in a specific anime world, but we just draw ourselves as anime characters. I don't I... expect too much now because. <laughs> I, I told Jared I hate drawing myself, but I hate you. Yeah, sure. She's not in charge. Sounds, sure, sounds, sure. sounds kind of depressing, bro. You so, can't yeah. hate you. Hate. And, and it, it's just because I can't, it's hard to draw yourself. It's hard to, 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 I don't know. It's just hard to draw yourself. But I mean, I tried. I tried. You know, today is my beautiful try. That it's reminds me. Yeah, actually, there you go. So you're, you're a cherished trash. Yeah, I'm a cherished <laughs> It reminds me of a video I was watching. This is out of video of this dude um, that drew himself in like 27 stages. And he explains how self portraits have evolved over time. I can't remember his name. And I can't remember which channel. It's not his channel, but it was, it was, it was another channel. I'll, link, I'll put a link in the description. Fire video. And I think anyone should watch it if they want to draw themselves better. All right, but let's get to it. So I took inspiration from The Amazing Adventures of Jojo. I think that's what it's called. You know it. You know it. Yes, Jojo Bizarre. Jojo's Bizarre's Adventure. Bizarre Adventures. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I took inspiration from that. You were about to start seeing oh, I was about to start seeing I'm telling you. <laughs> so many other way people must finna know what I'm talking about. Um, but at yeah, W Anime, and I feel like I, I held up, I held back watching it for a long time just because of how it was drawn. I felt like it was just old and the colors, I don't really like the color schemes, but like, you know, W Anime, great story. <laughs> My favorite part or season is uh, Starburst. I think it's called Starburst. With uh, the Jojo that has... Uh, what's his name? There's other characters. So Jojo, then Jonathan Joestar, like his grandpa. And then there's Polo Narif. And the Egyptian guy that I can't remember the name of. You watched it, right? Uh, I watched parts of it. I, I feel like his name starts with an A. Hey, it's not Abdul. But the one that I mostly watch was the one of... Jojo's, was it? Was it Jojo's? Jojo was the uncle to that boy because his, I think his mother was married was his... to Jojo's. Yes, that the old man. Ah, that's that, the one. No, 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 no. That boy was Jojo's uncle because that girl, uh, that I think that he got married to, was married to jo- Jojo's that's the, that's father. That's the one that has the hair. That jo- jo- he, was, he was Jojo's uh, father's brother, even oh. though he's younger than him. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't I watch it, Lillian? Oh, he was, he was like Jojo's six. father's brother. Well, his mom was married to Jojo's grandfather. 
Because I watched bits and pieces of all of them and all that, but I never really watched like from the beginning to the end. I watched, I probably watched like the end, end, and in the middle and in the beginning. I think. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but WNV. So that 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 really inspired me. So now oh, I'm trying to remember the creator's name. I'm gonna hit Google real quick while I hit play. The creator of JoJo. I also, yo, mistakes, mistakes were made. So, so before I start, I forgot to record when I was doing my skeleton. So, like when I was doing my outline and when I was doing the the skeleton of my of my sketch, I forgot to record. And then also towards the end, I really got tired. Like you are, guys. This episode was tough. So towards the end, yeah, and not necessarily that I got lazy or got tired, but I just decided to like keep the colors simple. But I genuinely feel like if I had more time with this sketch, it was gonna become, it was, it was gonna turn out really, really, really good. But I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm still happy about it. I'm still happy about it. So anyway, yeah, that aside, mistakes aside, so you can see my skeleton. Um, yeah, just take a good look at it. That's that's what I, that's the structure I came out with. So now you know how in Georgia they have stands. Yeah. I have my stand there in the back. Mm-hmm. But like, ish, I didn't, he didn't, he didn't come out the way I wanted him to. But it was, it was decent. Let me just hit play and take a watch at it. Um, and this time I didn't. I decided that I was gonna. For the same reason, I decided um, that I was just going to stick with Krita. So I didn't go into Illustrator and do the line work or anything. But I just, I stuck with Krita and I finished the artwork here. Then I moved into Photoshop for some post, post-processing. Do I touch you? What's your stand? What's your power? What's my stand? What's my stand? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, okay, so this is my stand. <laughs> I didn't think about a power, but I did think about this. I thought about how I wanted him to look and what inspired him. So I like monkeys, okay? I like monkeys and I like gorillas. So I just made him like a super buff primal looking guy with an only mask and I made him like super buff kind of like gorilla like um, and that was about it I haven't I didn't I didn't go too far into just thinking about what the power was I wish I did I wish I did I wish I had a whole backstory um, but like yeah one thing I realized about the creator of Jojo's art style is that he really focuses on structure like you can like they're all like super structured and, and super buff kind of reminds me of like Greek like old Greek art um, and so that's kind of like the look I went, I went for. And then also his clothes are just like and are super expressive. Also, it's like he, he, he works on, on when he draws hands, his hands are also super realistic. And also like I tried to focus on my hands and like the structure of the piece and then having the clothing and the lines be like pretty expressive. Um, in the beginning, I was just trying to pull out the form. I made my, my, my thighs too thick, I had to change them, hey, because I was like, you looking like a big booty boy. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about when I, when I remove the, the, the skeleton. Like, wow. Yo, man. Wow. Wow. Kind of <laughs> well, it's shy. It's shy. <laughs> yeah, so I had to slim him down. Um, but yeah, I mean, it turned out turned out pretty clean. I was just trying to focus on the structure, making sure. And also, when he etches, um, he, he loves using hatching. Shoo, you know, so. I'm getting a bit lost. Who are you talking about? <laughs> I, okay, the, the creator of Jojo. Uh, you should, yeah. I said that. I said that. Uh, let me, let me, let me put a name to it. Let me put a name to it. Ah, why is he speaking in third person here? But it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself? Yes. <laughs> Saying he. Ah, oh, let, let me, let me, let me Google it real quick. There we go. Hirohiko Araki. Yeah. Oh. We just call him Araki, Mr. Araki, so I can remember. So yeah, so Mr. Araki likes to, he likes to etch his lines as well and etch the shadows. So that's what I was doing on the lips and the neck. I didn't do it on too many places of the shadows, but mainly on the faces, that's where he does it. Gives details to the hands, so I gave the hands some detail. Um, and then, yeah, this is where I started like being expressive with with the jersey or with the jacket that I was wearing. I think it's here. Started changing up the lines and all that, just so that it becomes a little bit more expressive and it's not so... Um, flat. If it's not sure, I did do it later. The word you're looking for is plain. Thank you. Thank you. Simple. Plain. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, Chomi thinks she knows English. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't get me started, please. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll My vocabulary line. is wide. Wow. And has wisdom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only wide, it also has wisdom. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. It's like yeah, trying to make the lines more expressive. But I mean, I like how the sketch turned out. It looks, it looks pretty clean. Mm-hmm. Does it look like it's straight out of Jojo? I don't know. But it, it does look pretty clean. All I can say is that I think that both our sketches this episode were rough. And that's okay because it's doodle dialogue. We're doodling, you know. Nothing has to be perfect and look nice and fancy. But show me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stop trying your fingers, bro. You happy? I am actually yes, very happy, yes, but yes. I'm no. I'm just choking. How? I mean, it's eleven. We haven't even had breakfast, man. Fish. I mean, you could have. I went out this morning. I had to yeah, go to my cement. I was waiting. I was just waiting. It was cold and I ate by the heater. But I am quite hungry. Quite hungry indeed. The same here. Yeah, no, we get some meat after this. Yeah, so that's the only mask that I was drawing. I like only masks. I don't know what it is about what Japanese is that? only masks. What is only masks? I like so much. I'll show you. Let me show you. I'll throw it up on the screen, but let me show you. You've never seen only masks before. Well, maybe if you show me, I can depict whether I have seen it before. Are you using that vocabulary? Yeah, yeah I told you. <laughs> <laughs> My vocabulary has knowledge these days. <laughs> hey, let me put it up real quick. Yeah, so Japanese only masks are here. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I, I think I just figured out. Uh, okay. you know, Japanese, so only, only, is, only, I believe, were like demons or symbol, ah, symbolic of demons. Ah, yeah. I was about to say that. Hey, <laughs> the vocabulary, the wisdom. <laughs> yeah, only were like considered like symbols of evil because um, they, they represented demons. I don't know. Let me actually find what is an only in Japanese. Yokai, yeah. So an oni is a kind of yokai, demon, orc, ogre, or troll in Japanese folklore. folklore. And they believe to be live in caves and deep mountains. And so people started, or oh, the samurai, well, don't quote me on this, I might be wrong in my history, but this is what I remember. Um, the samurai used to wear oni masks to like, to like intimidate the enemies. Um, and so then when, when they would go to war and they would fight, they would put on an oni mask and just, yeah, to intimidate the enemy. Um, I think there's probably other reasons for it. Stop eating your fingers, bro. Mm. Last night we were talking about eating fingers. Did you know that if you suck your thumb, <laughs> <laughs> if you suck your thumb, I always thought this was a myth, but if you suck your thumb, the thumb that you sucked will become longer and elongated. I always thought that it would shrink and become the smaller thumb. That's what I was yeah, told. I also thought that. But in actuality, it's the one that becomes, it's the other thumb, the other thumb looks like it shrank because the other one grew because you were sucking. <laughs> it was wrinkly too. <laughs> yes, so children, don't suck your thumbs. It's not good for you. You yes. can suck it, I'm just doing suck it for too long. And you don't don't start in the first place. I mean, why why would you That's what introduce kids do? I don't drink I ever suck my thumb. You don't remember. That's that's facts. Well, like, you know, I'm that's pretty fake. sure that's if I'm not I'm, I don't know, but I mean I'm pretty sure majority of babies suck their thumb. Okay. I'll give you a maybe. I'll give you a maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Let's 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 get back to the video. So yeah, after I was I was done with this with the with the sketch and outline, which I think actually came up pretty fire. Um, I, I just like same thing so I put on a solid um, color on the back so that I could use in this case I didn't use a clipping mask I used the alpha lock so when you alpha lock a layer what that does is that it only allows you to paint in the paint in the parts that were already previously painted um, so you can't paint outside of the lines right so that's what I did like painted a solid color then I made a copy because I, I have a habit of, of feeling scared of painting on the layer that I have painted <laughs> Uh, that. that's, that's what an alpha lock does. So I duplicated the layer that I made, the solid color, and then I painted. I'm um, alpha locked it, and then I painted on my on my alpha locked layer or alpha yeah on my layer after I alpha locked it so that the color doesn't go outside of the the, the layer that I painted. Um, also this 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 round I remember uh, or this episode I remember I saying that we were going to do backgrounds. So yeah, we did. I did. Well, we did backgrounds. I did a background. You did a background. Honestly, if I could have left the painting. Just how it looks like right now, with just the color, I think it would have would have been fine. Actually, it looks it looks super dope. I might post this on my Instagram, just like this. I think I also would have liked to leave mine just As a pencil. Sketch. Yeah, that was bad. Ah, the looking ugly. It but it it's ended, okay. it, you said it ended it's up okay. looking ugly. Yeah, but Damn, it's right. it looks sad. <laughs> it's just doodle. It's just doodle. It is, and that's the thing. Sometimes don't don't let it get away from you. Like every every art, everything that you draw has to become a masterpiece or has to be a final project. Sometimes it's okay to just doodle. And as we said in the last episode as well, like sometimes some of the doodles you do you won't like. And it's okay to throw away projects, um, but it's also okay to just push through and see how, how it turns out in the end. But then I jumped in with some color. I um, had coolers opened on the on my other PC and um, on a, on a different screen, and I just I just used the colors from the that I got from uh, that I made as a color palette. I realized that I kind of like purple. Yeah, no, color was decent. 
I like how I did the shadows. I think it was dynamic. But you'll see that a little bit later. Yeah. How are you doing, Johnny? <laughs> All right. You sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> this is what happened. Mm. As always. Every day of the life. I have some movies to watch. Mm. So, yeah. After this episode, I'm going to go and enjoy some movies. So, how do you feel? How do you feel about going back to school? How dare you? <laughs> it's happening, bro. We might as well talk about it. Ah, I got excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. I think I've gotten used to the new school. So I'm excited. I'm excited to show them what I've got. Yes, girl. Yeah, I'm excited. Show them what you got. Yeah, I'm like, uh, quite excited about it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see when school starts and how and how everything goes. Oh, for sure. For sure. I think I think learning should be exciting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like maybe not maybe not the process of how you obtain that learning. Like sometimes reading is personally I'm not much of a reader. Like I don't read a lot of books, but I like listening to books. Yeah, that's why your vocabulary is not as wide as mine. As you was young, you like reading. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I and but I've I've grown to love books um through listening to them. And I think learning is is such an exciting thing. You see, I think I like listening to books if it's a book that I want to listen to. Like, if it's mm, a book mm. that I already own, mm. but of course you can't listen to it because it's a book you own. For I sure, mean, unless you find it online. Unless you find it online. But, but book, I would, yeah. like, when I'm reading it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you can listen to this. Yeah, because yeah, honestly, I like reading, but just, you know, you're a little tall, you know, you're always getting a little slow. <laughs> if I do like the story, I really want to get into it. But, <laughs> but the brain, yeah, the body's yeah, like, no. The eyes do get a little so. Yeah, Don't you have reading glasses? Yeah, like yeah. Ancho glasses specifically for reading? Yeah, well, they are. They are. Which I still get used to. You know, you know, <laughs> your eyes worsen over the years. Yeah. God. Over your long life that you've lived. Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a ride, but you know, <sighs> your. Now, feel you, but like now, nah, I think, if anything, I've, I've really grown an appreciation for learning, and I feel like. I actually took a class. I'm trying to remember who said it. I can't remember, but the whole principle behind there was it was a, a a lecture that was given. The whole principle behind the lecture was was about learning and the importance of learning, but not necessarily to the, not necessarily like the reason you go to school. Um, and the reason you go to school is not necessarily to learn, but it's to learn how to learn. If that makes sense. Because yeah, yeah. um, that's the most valuable skill that you can have. Um, is learning how to learn. Um, but yeah, okay, I went on to do the shadows. Now, I wish I could go back. But what I did is I put down a... Actually, I duplicated the layer. Right? Just pretend like you understand what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I dupl- I'm going to teach you all of this one day. You know, I was actually thinking I should buy Chomi a drawing pad so that she can practice. But my concern is if I buy Chomi a drawing pad, she won't practice. <laughs> Just because of how well I know you, I feel like it's just gonna sit there and collect dust, and I'll feel like it's a horrible investment. But I'll think about it genuinely. If you really want one, genuinely, I will consider it. Um, but what I did is I took my layer of colors, duplicated it, and then made a multiply layer. And then instead of adding shadows, I used an eraser and I removed shadows or removed the darkening, right? And that that gave me this this dynamic shadow effect, and I really love it. I I'll, I'll probably I might do a short on it. I don't know, but I'm yeah. I was, I was super excited about that. I learned so much just exploring the. Pro- I mean, I've had this program for years. I mean, I followed the development of the program for years. But like, I I learned so much just playing with it. So I might do a few more doodles in Krita just to learn more about the software. Anyway, that's how I did the shadows. What are we talking about? Hmm? What are we talking about? School. Learning, mm-hmm. learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the point of school. The point of school is to go to, is to learn how to learn. Um, and once you teach somebody how to learn, once you teach somebody how to become educated, um, the world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. Yeah, then I just started. See, this, now, this is now I was erasing the, the shadow that I created with the multiplayer layer, and it gave me this, such, such a dynamic effect. I really like how it turned out. Um, yeah, I made it a proper level. Not really purple, but like just a darker purple. I do that in the normal drawings actually. But yeah, not decently. Turned out pretty decent, I think. 
And I was trying to do the background. I was trying to add a gradient to do, to do to do the background. I just didn't know which colors I wanted to use. I just decided to go with like a, a sky and clouds type background, which was simple. I just made a gradient, with two different blues, and then I painted. I used the white to paint some clouds. Um, and I mean, yeah, it turned out pretty decent. You'll see the final product in a second. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it? Ah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's alright. It's quite, it's quite nice. Yeah, yeah it's decent. I like that. Yeah. I, like, I actually kind of like this. Drawing. Like I said, I think we both did a little rough on this episode. But it looks good. It looks good. It's better than mine. It looks good. It's not a competition, bro. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. That's my final product. How that turned out. Very nice. I mean, if I had to be Jojo, I think you should have just added a bit more line. I feel like there's a lot more lines. Yeah. Because yeah. also when I was drawing mine, I was just looking at black anime characters <laughs> I know because I just wanted to see like <laughs> sure, somebody hard. I don't know that but yeah and then one of the characters that did pop up was like some character from Jojo and it was just, that's what I don't know which show that one was from he's like really he's like dark and he's round Popo. and then yeah. he has this red <laughs> look yeah <laughs> that guy <laughs> I was like whoa yeah, and it, yeah. yeah but that one uh, <laughs> uh, yeah they just have a lot lot more lines in, in, in oh, definitely yeah. I agree yeah. Jojo Jojo they have a lot more lines in the, in the anime. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, I what I got away with here is I didn't have to draw eyes because I have glasses. Yeah, yeah, but you look a bit old. Hey, anyway, that's the whole premise of Jojo. I don't think anyone looks young in Jojo. You know, Jojo was in high school. The one with the black hook in the head. The oh, rah, rah, rah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, that man does not look like he's in high school, my guy. He looks like he's 40 with, with, with the wife and two kids. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll just say, some of them don't look that Okay, cool, no, he looks like he's in his 20s, yeah. I'm not exaggerating. He looks like he's in oh. like mid to late 20s. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, anyway, that was that. That was that. Um, I, I liked how it turned out. Background also kind of looked super simple, um, but I, I kind of liked how it looked. Um, I did like it in grey, so I might post that on my Instagram. Because it's a vibe. But yeah, that's that. Out of 10, how much you rate me, bro? I give you like a... Uh... Seven. I'll take the seven. I'll take the seven. I was thinking you were gonna say that, so I'll take it. Okay. I'll take the seven. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. She was hot. Thanks, Chomi. I really, really. Ah. Like <laughs> 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 yeah, seven and a half sounds more like it. That was me. <laughs> All right, let's, let's let's jump on to yours. Anything you wanna say before we jump into yours? Um, Not much. Just jumping in. What? Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, all right. I like the way you hold the pencil. Oh. Okay. Because I think you actually hold it like artists are told they're supposed to. You know, have you ever seen those artists with like the super, super long lid on their pencil? Let me show you something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposedly the proper way to sharpen a pencil. Hey, hey you know my sharpeners, guys. Oh, 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 those things, they hurt me. <laughs> you know, they break my pencil all the time. No matter what sharpener you get, eventually, I guess it gets blunt. But oh, my black pencil! Ah, my black pencil is, is smaller than my pinky. Yes. After yes. after yesterday's drawing, because I had to sharpen it so many times. I yeah, but I'm one of those kids. I, I think uh, at some point, maybe all of us were that and you, you get sharpen a new black pencil. you sharpen that pencil until until yeah, yeah they see you're supposed to sharpen a pencil like that. How are you gonna get a pencil like that? <laughs> using a using a razor, you're supposed to sharpen it like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, but then you, you sketch it like on the side. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess that actually is quite handy. Yeah, okay, you said you were looking at references. So like, what anime would you say? I was really fine. looking at references. I was just looking at, like, I just look at a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't I, know how you draw without reference, bro. Like, that would be impossible for me. It depends on what. I mean, like, I, well, not impossible, but for now, like, even just to establish structure, to establish a pose, you don't look at anything. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think my structure is a bit off, but I sometimes I really don't mind. But mm. I guess I could fix that and improve on that. But like, like maybe I'll look at, like I look at anime eyes, anime nose, anime mouth, anime mm-hmm. and choose what I like. Mm-hmm. Got you. Got and you, got maybe you, got you can combine that. That's in reference. One. That's reference in itself. In yeah, itself, which is yeah. That's what I, would do. I feel like But I'm other not. than that, if I were to do like the whole face thing, I usually just, I mean, especially in this instance where it's like out of your mind, mm. I sometimes don't feel like I need to reference it because I mean. It's coming out of my mind. I don't like how I want to do it. Got you, got you. I mean, pro tip, um, if you do want to have, if you can't find what you're looking for online, I would strongly encourage any artist or creative or just person that wants to draw to learn the basics of using a 3D software. 
um, something like a dance studio. There's free ones out there. Like dance studio is not free. I think they have a free version. But dance studio, um, Blender, and just there's so many 3D models online as well. Find a 3D model that has a mesh, move it around to how you want it to look, and then use that as a reference. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't draw a body. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you're good, okay. you're good. Yeah. I thought about it as I was like halfway through and I was like, was I supposed to draw a body? Hey, <laughs> it was too late. Was too I just late. feel like you can be more expressive with like a body and you can get away with that's like true. fake details. You see you see my face, bro. There's, there wasn't much detail. There was like that's three, true, three right? four lines for lips that's and a nose, bro, true. and then the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get away yeah. with like less detail yeah, if you have more body. When you have a portrait like this, you gotta focus up on on, on the details because that's all we see. But it looks clean. I like your hair. Sorry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah I did his hair off. I look so cute. Yeah, my hair is like it's just so beautiful. I like I look in the mirror and I uh, and smile like you know that that camera smile. But I look in the mirror and I like wow. Actually, I wish they could see your smile. <laughs> <laughs> your mirror smile. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was a, it was I a think that my most favorite thing about this whole drawing is the hair. That's all. Mm, mm. Other than that, I mean, I think I did okay, but yeah. No, the hair, hair was my favorite. No, no, we'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at it. Look, it looks like it's coming out of rot. Looks like it's coming out of rot. Using that eraser. Hey, hey, I don't have any other. Oh, my I need to get my eraser to back, you know? That eraser was a gift bro, from a very special person. It's close to my heart. Ooh. It's close to my heart. Kill me. No, I got it from Lily. I got it from my girlfriend. Uh, oh, so, my yeah, goodness. It is a special eraser. That's not to worry about, guys. I can just ask her, hey, can I have it? She's like, yeah, no problem. Wow. Jared, give it to her. She did to say that. <laughs> I doubt it. I, I doubt think it. she would ask Maybe her right now. She bought it so that I can erase the mistakes in my life. Yeah. Like Zach. <laughs> like Zach. <six. laughs> it's fine. I get my own eraser. I just need, don't have one right now. That's going to be using Jared's. That sounds weird. Imagine not having an eraser and, 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 and having... Do dialogue. Facts, bro. You draw with paper and pencil. Reason. You draw every week and potentially every day, and you have no reason. Yeah, I need to get myself an idea. I feel like something I've always struggled with is noses, but I got it down now. Nose, yeah, I'm not too bad with the nose. I feel like the thing I most struggle with is a mouth. Oh, hmm. not even Interesting. A, a mouth. It depends on what mouth I'm drawing. But if I were to draw a mouth that has lips. Sometimes it's a bit rough. I think all mouths are supposed to have lips. This one doesn't have lips and it looks perfectly fine. But as I was saying, sometimes. Hey, you look like you look like something out of Avatar. Yeah. Oh, I think that. Yeah. Anyway, sometimes you all looks good. Like if I were to draw lips by themselves, sure. Looks good. But if I had to draw lips in their face. In the context of the face. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit. A bit that different. reminds me, there's a face video I was watching. Mm. I watch way too many videos. There's a face video I was watching. Oh, I see, I redid the eyes. Well. I had to just erase those things and like them. Mm. I had to redid them. W, W, I'm not doing them. Ain't nothing wrong with redoing things. But there's, yeah, there's a video I was watching about face proportions, bro. I cannot remember for the life of me. I think it might have been Shinix Design. If it was, I'll link that video. Yeah, I'll link that video. Yeah, I'll link that video. I think it might have been Shinix Design. If it was, I'll link that video in the description. Um, no, 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 no. It was Proco. There we go. Damn it. Yo, hey. Proko, <laughs> Proko um, was, 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 was using references to draw faces and he was using the Loomis, the Loomis method to draw faces. And I really, 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 really like how he explained it. So I'll, I'll, I'll put the video on, in the description. Shout out to Proko for that. Really helping with my faces. And it, he got me into sketching faces and learning proportion. Sure, yeah, my proportion is trash. But yeah, maybe, I really don't mind it. But I really don't mind it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like I'm just lazy to learn how to do I was going to say, you know what properly. it sounds like when you say that you don't mind? It sounds like complacence. I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm okay with my preparation being yeah, Exactly. It sounds like I you're okay with better. where you're at. I should do better. Yeah. No, you, I mean, you don't, you don't have to. You don't, you don't have to. You don't, you, I think should is a powerful word. You, you don't have to feel like you should, but just know that you can. Yeah. And that's enough to push you to do it. Um, yeah, I'll send you that video. In fact, I'll send. I'll personally inbox you. All right, I'll <laughs> Yeah, because it'll be a vibe. Hey, we see you coming in with the background. Why oh, you look evil all of a sudden? Hey, the eyes, black, the eyes actually, changed. Actually, actually, all of a sudden you started like And I was coloring. I got tired of coloring. So I said my pencil finished even. Hey, was, <laughs> you see what that's all about? That's what oh, the pencil is. Is that color pencil? Yeah, that's color pencil. That's a very my dark black, my pencil. black. I like that black. Yeah. It's not like it's not like other. You know, what kind of pencils are those? They are watercolor pencils. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna do. You know what? I've decided. The next sketch, I'm doing a watercolor painting. Okay. It's probably gonna turn out trash because I haven't watercolored. I haven't done painting or watercolor painting in a long, long. I, I time. love that. Like I need to yeah. get 
pencils, but That's like a dark that. Blend. Because I mean, there's a lot of pencils, out there, but no pencil usually goes that dark. For sure. All these for colors, sure. actually, all my watercolor pencils, the ones that have silver tips at the end, they all go dark. And I and I Do really you know like what brand that. of watercolor pencils those are? Because I'm uh, curious. I think Daily. Daily. We'll give it a look. We'll give it a look, yeah, and I'll put we'll it in the description it. because those are nice. Those I look love like them. quality I pencils. I love them. Bro. Yeah, they are. They are really nice. I like. I, I like usually like pencils that can go dark because you know sometimes you get those pencils that just can't go dark, yeah, and you're sure. coloring. You might even make a Actually, hole in the paper, and it's, and it's not going any darker. <laughs> so I like. I love these that that can go dark because I can go light and I can go dark. Feel nah. you, feel you, I feel like feel it. I like it a lot. Yeah, but sure. I I just get a new black pencil like that because yeah. Like yeah. And I said it went went to the silver. Mm. That's how. That's how. Oh, hey, wow! In this in this yes in this one drawing. Ended up going. You're gonna see somewhere, somewhere there. I'm coloring at the top there. <laughs> coloring at the end. But that's the thing with I feel like using drawing traditionally as well. Yeah. Is that like materials, bro? Thing. Yeah. Things finish. Things finish. My, I mean, my computer will finish, but in the next, I don't know, 10, 20 years. Yeah. Um, my drawing pad will finish, but like same, same type of lifespan. So. I feel like that's one thing I love about digital art as well is that supplies, bro. I have a limited amount of supply. You know how you always look at a block and you're like, Limitless this block I mean. is small. Mm, until, eh, you start. <laughs> until you start coloring. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. It just expands all of a sudden. I was like, why is this block ending? Yo, this block's went ending. And I'm trying to color. And I was like, I... Yeah, I think that was taking the longest since the black and I was like and what I wanted to do is I really wanted to color I really had more time I really wanted to color each block in a different dark color but mm. oh I got tired and I was like no, I feel you I feel you nope I didn't do that yeah, yeah I remember you speaking about using uh, smaller pieces of paper so instead of using A3s you're going to try like start using A4s I don't think so I think I might just continue to use A3s I feel mm. like it's easy. like when a paper is bigger I feel like it's easier for me to draw than when a paper is small I feel like I have limited space Got you, got you. But I mean, maybe you should learn how to draw smaller then. I can't draw smaller, but why should you I have if a I have big paper? Uh, yes, I do. Like a normal size sketchbook? Yeah, A4, yes. No, not A4. A4 is too big. A big sketchbook. Like one like... Uh, where's my sketchbook at? Like this? The one I stick my notes at the back. No, the that one. But this is still a sketchbook. Oh, no, I don't have that. I think that's like... A, that's not A5. Is that A5? I think that's A5. Yeah, I think... I think I, mean, I, I think I need to get you an A5 sketchbook. Yeah. I mean, like, like a normal notebook, though, even. Because you can make four yeah. pieces. Pass my sketchbook. Yeah, let me show you something real quick. Yeah. Okay, I'll get it. Okay. Learning how to draw smaller, I feel like is the key. Oh, I've got this in Durban. Nice, nice. Yeah, it was a note. Like yeah, so so these these look pretty clean. Yeah. And they're super small. Yeah. And it took me like. 20 minutes to do mm-hmm. because of how small they are. Yeah, if it was bigger, true, if it's bigger, it would have taken me longer. more time. So time and materials. So using, I think everybody should get a smaller sketchbook and doodle around. Yeah, you see, look, the pencil got small. Oof, <laughs> I see your squares became rectangles also. You just... <laughs> no, 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 no. That's how I drew them. I drew them Gosh. like that. Bro, do you ever measure? I do. But <laughs> I wasn't trying to measure for this piece. I didn't want everything to be equal. But I do measure... When I feel it needs to be measured, gotcha. but yes, most of the time I do not measure because I uh, don't really need to measure. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like one something that makes art more appealing to human beings in general, not just something that makes art in general. No, don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm trying to throw shade. Something, something that looks appealing to the human eye. I mean, yes, yeah, stuff uh, that are structured. Is symmetry. Oh, that's true. Yeah, my symmetry is trash. That's what I was going to say. No even when you, you know that even when you, even when you. <laughs> <laughs> wow even when you look at people's faces one of the first things you notice about somebody that's pretty or beautiful or handsome is symmetry it's how symmetrical their face looks so someone that has unequal eyes is not beautiful psychologically you will process it as less beautiful than something that is okay interesting, interesting. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. big brain man yeah here. yeah from Camilar. telling you so like yeah so anything yeah, chip in your artworks if you want to make it look a little bit more appealing to people Try and focus, not focus, but like consider. Yeah, look the pencil on how I was coloring. You. I just had kind of. <laughs> two fingers, right? went, from, had... went from three to two. Yeah, it got rough. It, and then it broke, yo. And I was yeah. like, yo, can I just yeah, finish this one? Time, eh? Look, it's by the silver part there. Eh? Tough time, never yeah. last. I, I just needed to color last. that. That part, I just needed to color that one part. And the pencil was, and she was giving me problems. Yeah, it was already finished. I don't even know where it is right now. I couldn't find it after. Probably fell or something. <laughs> No, I'll just try to crazy around, but 
And what were you doing with them? You just I was making lines. Got you. Since I didn't color. Like, yeah, I feel you, feel you, feel I knew it was feel in the pop feel ball, feel but I was like, right. Yeah, just say I was taking a long, long time. Sometimes deals can be distracting. Like, same with me, with my background. I was trying to. I wanted to do first. I wanted to do like a nighttime type thing, yeah. and like have stars and all of that. But then the, when I when I started with the stars, I was like, nope, it's too distracting. <laughs> it's too distracting, it's too distracting yeah. for me. I couldn't with all the dots and all the stars. I couldn't see the, the drawing as much. Yeah, wait, you didn't even measure those out, did you? No, why did I? You don't meant to be measured. <laughs> I'm kidding, Joe. Okay, yeah, I'm sure everything looks nicer when it's straight and people can push it. But I wasn't trying to marry you. But I mean, maybe I should. Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna make. Proportional drawing, but you see what and has structure. You see what's already happening exactly. in our head. Yes, actually, actually, when you're doodling, try and focus on those two things. Um, I think what 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 what's happening now, even with us right now, is that we're feeling we feel like these pieces need to be finished pieces, as opposed to them just being doodles, bro. That's true. That's true. It was just doodle, it's just yeah. a doodle, bro. That's like, true. why are you stressing all that? Like, I'm yeah. trying to throw you for school marks. There you go. <laughs> No, but now you're on the effort. We appreciate you. We yeah. appreciate you in the effort, bro. Okay. For sure, for sure. Do you end up going back into that phase? Yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. But you see, it stopped recording when I started to <laughs> color. Like, I think I was by <laughs> the see. eye. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah. At the end, I was like, nope, I'm done. And I just <laughs> I just colored it. I finished coloring it without recording it. Technical and then I just, uh, then I just, I just left it. I just showed you the finish. Normally, I feel like I do my backgrounds last. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go, we see you. Yeah, throw yeah. Like, throw it at us again. Yeah. <laughs> what? Tell me, let's see, I was like, just whip yeah. it out. You know, it's just better now, I don't Actually, know why, but I, was, I wasn't yeah. feeling it, I wasn't yeah. feeling it, but I think I, think I was kind of... Actually, looking kind of at it with. as an anime, and yeah. I, the, hair didn't, the, hair, the hair still is my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. the hair is my favorite part too. I was shocked, I was like, hey! Yeah, I like it's that. Sad. It's I really like nice. that a lot. But yeah. No, we appreciate that, we appreciate yeah, yeah. that, you know. It looks like a vibe. Don't beat yourself up, my guy. Just, <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. I'll give okay. you. Do you want to know? Or, oh, <laughs> your, your face got serious. You want to know? Okay, I'm a, I'll give you. I'll give you a seven. Ah, I'll give you, you a seven. You. I'll give you a seven. Are you saying that it's been No, I'm saying that as as to the standard that I hold you at. Ah, okay. Uh, this is a seven in Chomi standards. I'll give thank it to you for sure. You. Sure. sure. This is better than some of the stuff you drove for school. <laughs> Okay, those were limited times and it was rough, all right? I told you how to be the first school, of course. I mean, yeah, first no, school, like, you read topic, so I... The thing is, rough. but but I, you see, I see what, what, in a way, how how your mindset has influenced even how you draw professionally or for school. Yeah. Is that you don't really necessarily mind much about proportion. You don't really care much about measuring. And those things, I see show up like in your doodling if yeah. you're doing that in your doodling bro then you for sure are doing that <laughs> yeah. in, your, in your real work so yeah fundamentals stick to those principles if you get good at those principles even when doodling i promise you your school is going to change okay, okay for sure for sure pep talk got you brother yeah thanks a lot yeah no but that's oh that's that for that episode yeah drawing anime i love anime i wish i could be in an anime <laughs> makes me so <laughs> if I can't I mean I watch it and it looks so good and like I don't even want to be in this life I want to be in the anime facts, but facts, I can't facts, facts. But now, I'm stuck here but now let's get back to reality so yeah um, we love y'all appreciate y'all thanks for watching till the end of the episode make sure to like comment and subscribe you know, I thought my work was trash, but it's not actually trash. I mean, <laughs> you like, take it back. Anyway, yeah, I take it back. <laughs> but I mean, it's trash. <laughs> no problem there. But I, I really like it. I really like it. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, well, so. yeah, but now, appreciate appreciate everything. I appreciate all the support. appreciate the love. Um, your, your people need to send us your art. I mean, come on, guys. Yes. Come on. And maybe what you want us to draw next, because you know, my brain started to struggle <laughs> yeah, to come up out. with what I need to It's only episode but, three and you're struggling. Ew. <laughs> That's your only job. <laughs> your only Oh. It's not, he's lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that wow. is how your primary job. Um, but no, keep doodling, um, watch anime, drink water, um, tell your mom you love them. And uh, Okay, that was a bit sad. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys love your moms, but I mean, okay. <laughs> Alright, doodles, y'all. Doodles. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay.